Okay. Um, so people were interested in this thing I have set up for quick actions. Uh, this code is not super polished, um, but it is, I do find it fairly useful. So I guess first I'm going to uh, say the idea behind quick actions and like show what I do with them. Then I'm going to show the code that, that makes it work. And then I'm going to discuss some of the downsides. Um, uh, so. So the idea of quick actions is um, I don't use the pop uh, sound for mousing because I uh, find the mouse comfortable to use. Um, uh, I don't know. So instead I use the pop command, the, the pop sound to do other things. Um, and in particular, I find it useful for repeating commands interactively uh, because the, the sort of loop from voice to, to doing something is slower than the loop for the pop command. So the probably the, most common example here is for search, finding the next occurrence of a search instance. So um, search word line later, 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 later. So as you can see, saying later, you know, there's a perceptible delay between saying later and it actually going to the next match. Uh, but instead, what I can do is I can use the pop sound, um, and that's much lower latency. Go top, search word line, head, right? Um, and I don't just use this for um, search. I use this for various other things. Um, so the other thing I use it for is I can repeat anything if I use an ordinal. Um, and if I use an ordinal and then start popping, it will just start iteratively repeating the thing. Um, so for example, um, tail, air third, Scratch. Right. Um, so, okay, that's what it's useful for. It's useful for quickly repeating stuff. Um, the way it works is let's go find. So, first, I have a small file called noise.py down at the bottom. What it does is basically make it so that when, when I issue a pop noise, it runs uh, this code whose basic function is to run the action uh, pop, right? And this means that I can define, you know, what the user.pop action is in the Talon file or, or elsewhere. Um, uh, so this is basically just support code that, that lets me override pop easily. Then what I do is pop runs the action, uh, quick action run. So the idea is at any given time, there is a quick action that has been set. And various actions like search or uh, the ordinals will set the quick action. And then by popping, I run the quick action. Um, so uh, this module, quick action.py implements quick actions. Um, basically it exposes three actions, quick action clear, which clears the quick action, Quick action set, which sets it, and quick action run, which runs it. Quick action set is just stored in a global variable. Um, uh, and the annoying thing is basically quick action run is a big if statement that looks at what the quick action was set to and uses that to figure out what to do. So let's actually look at some code. Let's try. What was it? Quick action set. Where are all the places that I call quick action set? Okay. Right. Right. So for example, I have a command called search back. It runs find reverse, which is a generic action that runs a backward search. And then it sets the quick action to be edit.find previous, right? That string is actually just, um, is not particularly meaningful. Um, 
it just, oops, where is quick action? That string ends up over here. When I actually do a pop command, it ends up running the quick action, which looks at the currently saved quick action and asks, is it edit.findPrevious? If so, it invokes the edit.findPrevious action. So yeah, uh, as a demo, search back word find. Right. And then basically I have a bunch of different actions which set the quick action. Um, uh, so where, do, where does repeat command? Probably in ordinals.py. Or no, it's in repeater.talon, isn't it? Yeah, so for example, I've overwritten the ordinals command, which is what allows you to say second or third and repeat things to you know, set the action to repeat command. Okay, um, so that's the idea. Um, the drawbacks are uh, that pops are often accidentally recognized in my experience. I will happen to open my mouth and my, my microphone will recognize that as a pop and now suddenly it's done some action accidentally <laughs> that I didn't mean it to do. Um, uh, and also that like this code uh, quick action.py is kind of annoying. Every time I want to add a quick action, I have to extend this giant if clause. Uh, um, but yeah, that's the basic idea. All of this code should now be in the gist that I posted in um, Talon scripting. Uh, but yeah, does anybody have any questions? Looks cool. Yeah, that my biggest concern would be the um, the popping uh, resulting in like the the unintended pops, and then yeah. whatever action happens to be there from half an hour ago <laughs> or something like that. You know, all of a sudden, crazy things happen. I don't know. Um, yeah, so the, they they will only last for some amount of time because I have it that uh, focusing a new window or or a new application will clear quick action. Uh, okay, um, interesting. But it but it does sometimes happen that I get unintended results, and I just have to like use an undo.